Hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel. This is Tammy and I'm here to encourage you to design the life that you love. Today I wanted to flip through the Full Focus Pocket Planner. And I'm excited about this because I used the Full Focus Planner when it first launched and this update I think is perfect for your work planner. So let's dig in. The Full Focus Planner Pocket version is a nice compact size. So it's a little bigger than my hand and I love it because it is a really high quality planner. Um, so it's gonna be nice to work in, but at the same time, it's a quarterly planner that's very streamlined. So it's not a lot of fuss, basically. You don't need to put a lot of effort into this. You just work in it. So let's take a quick flip through. I have this in kind of a linen or a crew um, colorway. There's other options. I'll have a link below where you can get a discount off your first order. And that is an affiliate link. So if you choose to use it, I appreciate it. But you have just the um, logo here on the side. So let me get it focused on that. So you can see the kind of compass logo there and then it has full focus planner on the side embossed in gold. Other than that, you have a strap on the back so that you can keep this closed. What I like about this in this era of, you know, sometimes working from home, sometimes working from the office, to have something nice and compact, but also that you can make sure that it stays closed. This is really easy to throw in a work bag. Um, and of course, it's a very streamlined design so I think it is great whether you like a minimal design or you really like beautiful design um, this covers both all right let's dig in so you start with kind of a contact page here at the front and you have a place for those details and then you have a really compact version of the goal setting system this is a planner that was designed by Michael Hyatt and Company. So if you've ever followed Michael Hyatt over the years, you know that he is really known for business development, professional development, goal setting and achievement while maintaining balance um, with your personal life. And so this is a really, really compact bullet list format of his goal setting system. There are actually videos that you can go to if you, um, honestly, even if you just want to see what they're about, fullfocusplanner.com slash start will take you to the setup videos, which will help you kind of understand his goal setting process. Um, but the bullet points are here and it actually even gives you the page numbers. So I like a planner that gives you a setup um, of how to maximize it. It's not really that you have to use it that way, but if you want to make the most out of it and get support from the company, I love when they offer that. So that is there. And then you have a page for annual goals and you can even put the quarter that you're working on them. Again, this is a quarterly planner, so you could have your annual goals all in one place, but you could make a note of which ones you're working on in this particular quarter. Then you have 12 pages, so one, two, and so on, 12 pages just like this for goal details. And his Smarter Framework takes the SMART goal system a little bit beyond that to help you really fine tune them. And again, you can learn more about that at his website. If you'd like to see me go through the things I kind of ask myself like this Smarter Framework when setting up my own goals, let me know in the comments below. But there's 12 pages like this and you can even categorize them. You can talk about your key motivations and the next steps. I love when a goal setting system gives you a place to break down the actions that you can take all in one place to help you reach that goal. So whether you think in the minutia, so if you tend to think about the small things, the things you need to do every day to reach a goal, you can start here and kind of work backwards and frame up the overall goal this way, or if you think big picture, you can start with your big picture goal and then use this space to break it down. So like I said, that continues for 12 pages. And once you get past that, you have several pages to track um, habits or they call it a streak tracker. 
So you can put what it is, you can put your completions. What's nice about, nice about this setup is you can do something for a week, for a month, you can track you know, the percentage, how much you got done. So it's not an all or nothing. Sometimes with habit trackers, if you miss a day, you feel like you kind of give up on the week, or if you miss a week, you feel like you give up on the month. And if you, give, if you fail on a month goal, um, that's part of a quarter, then you feel like you missed it for the quarter. So I like something like this that gives you a progress. So you have four pages of that, and then you go into your calendar views. This is undated, technically, um, but it does have the days of the week, so I'll show you that. But you get three monthly views. What's nice about this, again, is you can use it, and if you... Um, let's say you're going to be off for a couple weeks. You don't want to, really, you want to use it that month. You can just use it whatever months you want it to be. I like this quarterly planning section because you can keep track of projects or activities, big events that may be going on in the quarter that aren't necessarily goals. Another thing that Michael Hyatt does really well in his podcasts and his online resources is help you figure out the difference between projects and goals. Um, Every project isn't necessarily a goal, but every goal may be able to be approached as a project. So um, anyway, so you have just a, a separate place for those things that you either know about or as they come up throughout the quarter. You also have a few pages to fine tune what you want your day, your week, your month, and your quarter to be like. So you have a place to write out your ideal daily rituals in the morning, your workday startup, your workday shutdown, and your evening, even so much as having a place for time. I've seen recently in the planner community some people sharing apps that do this, but I really do like having it in a place where you can um, basically look at it every day and kind of make sure that you are staying on track for what you want it to be without necessarily having the distraction of your phone and an app. Then um, on top of your rituals, you have a place for your ideal week. I have used this mindset for almost 20 years now. I was first trained on this through um, a direct sales company that I um, work with. And this is just a great way to really look at the time you have and put in the most important things first, like your big rocks, uh, basically, before you fill it in with all the minutia and the, the busyness that is kind of the never ending things. So we always have laundry, we always have dishes, we always have to, you know, um, meal prep or, you know, get the groceries. Those things are just constantly uh, recurring no matter what. But if we want to make sure that we're making time for our goals, it's really helpful to look at what we would like a week to look like and then work towards that, knowing that it's highly unlikely we'll ever have an absolutely, quote, perfect week, um, partially just because life happens and um, things come up that will become more important than something we thought was going to be the most important thing for that day. Um, but it's a great place to do it here. These are a great couple of pages to consider using pencil or an erasable pen um, just so that you can tweak it. But really, again, since this is a quarterly planner, you can set this up for the quarter and then just reevaluate uh, before you set up your next quarter book. Key projects, again, this is really just gonna be a summary. Again, as a business planner or a work planner, I think this is great because of sections like this. You can also, Basically, this is the only time you have this page in the planner, but because it is at the beginning of the week, it gives you a small section to pick your weekly big three. And so you're saying these are the three most important things in whatever category uh, that you need to focus on and make sure you get done. So when you get those things done, you know you're on track and there will be other things you get done, but those will be the most important. You then have a place each day for a daily big three tasks and notes and appointments. Again, I like the streamlined design of this planner, especially for work. And especially, you don't necessarily need like a calendar view every day for this type of mindset. And again, for using it as a work planner. Um, but you have enough room to you know, make note of important meetings or phone calls, things like that. At the bottom, there's a key where 
um, you have different uh, icons. So square, checkbox, uh, slash, uh, circle, arrow, and an X. And they are just his key so you would be able to list your tasks for the day and if it's done, you check it off. If you're waiting for something, you use the slash and so on and so forth. And so you can really look at the end of the day where you are and how many things have been deferred, how many things are completely done and what you're waiting on so that when you go to the next day, you can move things over as needed. Uh, I did say earlier that this is an undated planner, so you have room to put your month and day here, but you do have your days of the week. So you have 13 weeks in the planner and it just continues on all the way through. So you have a full day view Monday through Friday and as many other daily planners do, your Saturday and Sunday is combined. And then you have your weekly preview. So it tells you how many weeks are left in the quarter as a countdown here. And it gives you a place to really review your week, see what happened, uh, what could be better. And then on the back, you can look at your weekly overview. So by going back to each day, so let's say that you saw three things deferred here, they still weren't taken care of Friday, and you wanna make sure before you go home for the weekend that they're on your radar for the upcoming week. You can go ahead and move those here. So at the beginning, you had projects for the quarter. Let's go back to that page. Key projects for your quarter, and then once you go to each week after that, it's a weekly overview list. Big three again, and then everything repeats over and over until you get to the end of your quarter. Then you have a place to review your quarter and look ahead for the next quarter. And again, it gives you tips and coaching right in the planner. And then you have 40 notes pages. So plenty of room in here to carry one book to take notes at meetings and so on and so forth. And then after your last notes page, you have an index page. So let's say that you took notes on, um, let's say this day from a meeting that you have, let's say you use this area for notes or some key piece of information and it's on page 101. You can come back bullet style journal and put your page 101 and where it is. So it's a great thing to keep up with throughout the quarter. And that is it. So there's a pocket in the back, a slip pocket. So you can keep a few things in there. It does come with one ribbon bookmark. The larger planners do have two. So you have a ribbon that you can keep it on your day. And I just think that it is a great compact way to focus your work. And that's what I'm gonna be using it for as a work planner. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. And if you haven't checked out my other videos, check out the ones that are here at the end. You'll find me most days over on Instagram, instagram.com slash Tammy Skipper. Thanks so much for stopping by today, and I wish you all the best in your work with a streamlined planner like this to make it go even better.